Okay, so let's look, we'll look and see what we, uh, what we did here. And you can see, of course, those matched up. A, uh, vertex A, B, and C matched up with uh, STR, respectively. And, of course, the angles did exactly the same. Well, we're actually not get into that yet because I did this instead. Okay, but the angles did the same. Okay, angle S, angle S, T, angle R. And then we have those side correspondences. All right? Okay, so um, this is examine here. Examine figure two. By simply looking, it is impossible to tell. And again, here's our, here's our figure two right here. Um, by simply looking, it is possible to tell the two triangles apart unless they are labeled. They look exactly the same, just as identical twins look the same. That's a really silly, uh, silly kind of uh, analogy, I think. Anywho, um, one triangle could be play, could be picked up and placed on top of the other. Okay, um, two triangles are identical if there is a triangle correspondence, which is very important here, so that corresponding sides and angles of each triangle triangle are equal in measurement. Okay, that's right. All these correspondences, if they're equal in measurement, so in this case, you know, uh, angle B would have to be equal to angle Y, um, et cetera, et cetera, okay? That is the only way um, they are, um, are can, be, can be considered identical, okay? So, um, you know, of each triangle are equal. So the corresponding sides and angles of each triangle are equal in measurement, okay? In figure two, um, there is a correspondence that will match up equal sides and equal angles. Angle um, triangle ABC um, will correspond to uh, triangle XYZ. We can conclude that triangle ABC is identical to triangle XYZ. Okay. Um, this is not to say that we cannot find a correspondence in Figure Two, so that unequal sides and unequal angles are matched up, but there certainly is one correspondence that will match up angles with equal measurement and sides of equal length, making the triangles identical. Okay? Alright, so they have to actually each corresponding one. Now you can make correspondences that are unequal. Okay, so that's what they're trying to trying to point out here. You can make correspondences that are unequal. But the only way they could be identical is if all those correspondences are equal. Okay, it'll probably become clear later on. So, in discussing identical triangles, it is useful to have a way to indicate those sides and angles that are equal. We mark sides, and here's some of our notation here. We mark sides with tick marks and angles with arcs if we want to draw attention to them. Okay, if two angles or two sides have the same number of marks, it means they are equal. Okay, and um, this I uh, find this is very, very useful. So in this figure, if you look right here, um, AC equals DE. Okay, and that is, um, that is no noted by the um, tick mark. Okay. Right here, we have one, one little tick mark there, one little tick mark here. So the fact that they both have one tick mark means that they are equal. And um, EF is also equal, okay? Um, as you can see right here, e, uh, and DE is equal to E... Oh, well, hold on a second. AC equals D... No, I'm, I'm wrong here. Excuse me, let me take that back. Boom, okay. AC, I can't see this, I can't see these tick marks very well. AC, let me take all those tick marks away. Let's do this first. AC, boom, boom, is equal to DE, which is boom, boom, there. They both had two tick marks, okay. Which is also equal to EF, so boom, boom, okay. And then BE, B, angle B, is equal to angle E. And this angle B here is equal to angle E. And you can see the way that arc 
um, is shaped. Okay. Um, yeah, and I guess that's I guess that's it. Sorry if I any confusion there. Yeah, because you can see here that A has only one tick mark, uh, the AB line, uh, AB side, and there is no one tick mark anywhere else. And you'll also notice that um, this E, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, the BC has a three triple tick mark, and it's not equal to anything on this page either. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and have you look at these here. So two identical triangles are shown below. They give a triangle correspondence that matches equal sides and equal angles. Okay? So um, I'd like you to actually um, go ahead and do a triangle correspondence. Okay? So you're going to you're going to have triangle, triangle, whatever, is corresponds to triangle, whatever. Okay, so that's how you're going to write it. And these, this is a triangle. That's the, that's the triangle um, notation there. Okay. All right, so how is it going to uh, correspond, all right, to match equal sides and equal angles. Okay? Very, very important to pay attention to that. So go ahead and, uh, and do that and come on back. Okay, so if we start from, let's just have A be the first letter in the, uh, and usually start, of course, from, from the, in the letter closest to the beginning of the alphabet. Anywho, it's not always the case, so don't listen to that. So anyway, I want to do that. So angle A, if I, I mean, angle A and vertex A, point A, right here I see. Okay, and that matches up, as you can see over here, to, uh, to T, all right? Because it, uh, and you can see the notation here of the angle notation is um, <clears throat> identical. Okay, so that's going to, uh, to help us out. If we want to move, I'm going to go ahead and move towards, towards C here. Okay, so if I say angle, and again, I'm not doing them in order, as you see. If I do angle A, C, and you can see this side here has two, uh, is that three, three tick marks? Yes, three tick marks. And I notice that this one also has three tick marks. So I'm going to go from T to R in that case. Okay. And, and you can see here if I look at angle R is equal to angle C because they're not the um, angle notation is similar. All right. And um, then, of course, only one thing left, ACB. Okay. And then I have my one tick mark there one tick mark on this side that tells me I'm going the right direction and then you can see our angle B and angle S are also similar. Now that's not to say that we couldn't have gone um, we couldn't have gone this way could, we could have also gone and we could have gone A, B, C All right. in this case it would have been what T S R. Okay. All right. But we want A C B and then T R S. Okay. That's the way we chose to do it. So again, there are there are different uh, different answers. Okay. A B C. Could have been A B C. To T S R. We might have had that. Or. ACB to TRS. Okay. All right. Okie doke. So, yeah, let's move on here. See, uh, um, now you're going to do some sketching of your own. All right. You have a sketch two triangles that have a correspondence. To describe the correspondence in symbols or words. And then have a partner, whatever, your, your mom or whomever to, um, to, check, to check your work. Okay. So again, you don't need this doesn't need to be perfect, but if you do have um, you know something there to help you out, uh, help you draw these, um, a ruler and um, and such, uh, protractor if you want to. But uh, anyway, the the idea, the most important, the thing we're really really concerned with is um, just using those symbols or words to um, to describe correspondences. Okay. 
Okay, well here, here I have my, my two triangles that I drew, and again, I'm just describing correspondences, and we weren't talking about identical triangles, okay, so um, didn't need to have, um, you know, we weren't talking about a situation like this up here, we were just talking about uh, correspondence, okay. And in this case, the way I've drawn them, I wanted to say my triangle correspondence, therefore I wanted to start with was triangle ABC, this correspond, corresponds to triangle uh, ZXY, okay, so just the fact that I'm moving in this, this direction and in this direction, keep it simple. Therefore, all of my angles, you can see that angle A uh, corresponds to angle Z, etc. And then, of course, my vert vertices are the same, A to Z, B to X, C to Y, and then, of course, my sides look the same way as well. Okay, so there we go. There are my uh, correspondent uh, triangles. All right, so here we go. We are in a lesson summary, and um, important points here are two triangles and their respective parts can be c compared once a correspondence has been assigned to the two triangles. Once a correspondence is selected, corresponding sides and corresponding angles can also be uh, determined. Okay, so once you decide um, which triangle you're talking about and which order you're talking about of the vertices, um, you can then um, you can then start um, start comparing them. Okay, uh, double arrows. Those double arrows that we've been using they notate corresponding vertices. Triangle correspondences can also be notated with double arrows. Okay. And again, that's this right here. And again, that does not mean equal to. Okay, does not mean equal to. It just means corresponding to. Okay. Triangles are identical if there is a correspondence so that corresponding sides and angles are equal. Okay, and that's the only way you have identical, identical triangles. Okay, very, very important point. Okay, is that one right there. Um, an equal number of tick marks. And again, we're talking about notation here. Equal number of tick marks on two different sides indicates the sides are equal in measurement. And then an equal number of arcs on two different angles indicates the angles are equal in measurement. Okay, so if we had this, just going to do this real quickly. And again, these are not equal by any, oh, not look too bad. But if I did that and that, I know those two are equal. That and that, those two are equal. Two tick marks here, two tick marks there, those are equal. And then I could do two two arc notations there, those are equal, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, for example, two, three. Okay, so um, this is what, um, this is how I decide, um, or how I notate or note that sides and angles are equal with uh, tick marks and arcs. Okay, so tick marks or arcs. Okay, well that is the end of this lesson. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. And um, hopefully we can put this, um, this newfound knowledge into practice uh, in the coming lessons. Okay, and again, remember about um, number seven in the, in your, in the coming problem set. Um, it is only meant to be an exploratory activity, so don't, don't worry about um, you know, getting it right. Just, um, um, just see what you can do with the process.